this is Diane love to bake well we've got another cooking recipe and this is an easy one and I like easy recipes uh, it's basically three chocolates uh, um, you know white uh, chocolate chip white chocolate and milk chocolate uh, they're actually called, uh, you can call them a strip cookie, you could call them even biscottis, Italian biscotti chocolate uh, uh, cookies. The only difference is biscottis are twice baked. If you are looking for Italian biscottis, I have several on my channel, so please check it out. But this recipe, well, I feel it's a good one. So let's get started. First, we're going to put in and I'm using my stand up. You certainly can use a hand mixer if you want. We're going to start putting in granulated uh, sugar. And we're going to be putting in um, three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar in. And we're also going to be putting in a half a cup of brown sugar. Just want to break that up a little bit with my hand. And I'm just going to mix it together. The next step is butter, and I've had it at room temperature, and it's three quarters of a cup. And as always, I always cut it up in small pieces. I think it creams easier and faster. So we're going to cream the two um, sugars together, and you do want to cream them long enough till they become kind of light and fluffy. Once you do that, you're going to be adding two eggs, one at a time, and they've been at room temperature. First one's in. And there's our second. And just keep beating them till they become very smooth and together. I raise my speed a lot. Uh, due to uh, the video to move it along um, but you know take your time and then you know cream them all together it might take you two minutes it might take you three it really depends on your speed of your you know your mixer all right let's start getting the dry ingredients ready you're going to need two cups of all-purpose flour you're also going to be putting in a half a cup of unsweetened cocoa. So I'm going to put a little bit of flour in and a little bit of the cocoa. And now I'm going to be putting in uh, baking soda and that is a half a teaspoon. And we're also going to be putting in a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And then I'm just going to start mixing that in and then adding the flour and the cocoa till it's all combined. That is, by the way, unsweetened, of course. Alright, that's the rest of the flour. dough or you could probably call it a cookie dough batter and I'm just gonna take off some of my excess here off the paddle and we'll set that aside there we go and then with my spatula I'm gonna just bring it all together here all right now if you find that this mixture is um, a little too soft uh, to handle, chill it for 20 minutes or so, okay? Especially if you're 
uh, kitchen is, is real warm, all right? Uh, mine is uh, actually a little bit soft, but we're gonna we're gonna go ahead. So I'm gonna put just a little bit of uh, flour on my countertop here, and we're gonna put that cookie dough. And it's rich, dark chocolate, great smell. When these cookies bake in the oven, the whole kitchen smells so good. Everybody generally comes in and finds out what's baking. You know, what am I going to be eating next? And I'm going to get as much out of that mixing bowl that I can. Okay. And we'll set that aside, get it out of the way. Okay. And then just with a little bit of flour on my countertop and my hands. Okay. And then what I generally do is I just make a square out of it like that. Okay. And then take a sharp knife and cut it into four, four pieces. Okay. Like that. And as you can see, it is quite soft for me. So, you know, it's a little more difficult to work with when it's like this, okay? So we're going to put some flour here. I don't want too much, but i got to have enough to handle. Okay, and I just realized I forgot to put the chocolate chips in. You're going to put two cups of uh, chocolate chips. What I actually have in them... Um, somebody is in the kitchen here that's making faces, so I'm completely forgetting here. I do apologize what, what I was supposed to do. But anyway, um, I generally put a cup of the espresso or dark chocolate uh, uh, morsels in, and then a cup of the milk chocolate morsels. So I have both, because I really like that dark chocolate and that milk chocolate and then white chocolate. Who doesn't like chocolate, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do is, just for the sake of, of uh, saving this video, is um, I'm just going to mix some of the chips right in here, okay? There we go, see? I can pull this off. Okay, <laughs> now, um, in fact, why don't I very quickly, I'm going to put this back into my mixer because I'm going to be I'm going to be putting in those chocolate chips after the video finishes but anyway um, roll it out into a, a log as best as you can and you want it to be about oh 10 inches okay and I like to square off the ends now you're going to put it on a grease cooking uh, sheet, pan, use your parchment paper if you prefer. And uh, I would, I generally only bake uh, two logs uh, per, uh, per pan because they are going to stretch and, and, and bake out, you know, uh, that kind of thing. But you want them about 10 inches, you know, they, they, are, go, they are going to spread. So, you know, put them a good distance uh, from apart. Like I said, I generally uh, put two because I get four, four rolls, 10 inch rolls out of this, okay? Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to bake it at 350 degrees. Uh, and again, I alternate my trays uh, from top to bottom. It, they're going to take about 14 to 18 minutes. Uh, you can check uh, with a toothpick inserted in the center, and if it comes out almost clean, then take them out and carefully put them on a cooling rack, okay? Um, now, uh, I want to just kind of clean this out of the way here, because I'd like to show you, after I rinse my hands quickly here, what they look like once they're baked up. But I'm handling raw dough with raw eggs, and I don't want to do that. So, 
when you bake them up, okay, now where did it go? Oh, here it is. <laughs> they will come out looking like this in a log, okay? Um, they will have some surface cracks on the top. Don't worry about that. And then what you'll want to do is you want to um, melt uh, either in your, um, your warmers or in a bowl, in your microwave, uh, chocolate. Now, if you're making the chocolate, about two ounces um, of chocolate and a half a teaspoon of butter or shortening, okay? And this particular is more of, I made it thinner so it would become more of like a glaze because I'm going to show you another way that I cover them. Okay, and just cover that those up really nice like that. Okay, and then of course you let that set and let that harden. And then what you're going to do is you're going to use white chocolate the same way. If you're using your white coating or your baking bars, just again melt about two uh, ounces. If you're using a white chocolate, again, I would follow that same thing. Two ounces with a half a teaspoon of butter or a half a teaspoon of, uh, of shortening, okay? So we're just gonna set that aside and let that set up. And I'll get rid of this. All right, now, when they bake up, and by the way, when this cools and hardens, then I take the white chocolate and I drizzle it over the top. And I guess you can kind of uh, see it here. The only difference is, and these, I reversed it because I thought, well, because I wanted to do it. But anyway, um, I covered it with white chocolate first and then I drizzled the uh, dark chocolate um, over over the top, just the reverse. You could you can do it either way. Uh, like I just showed you, put your chocolate down and, and then garnish it or drizzle with your white chocolate or like this. Both way, they come out so pretty and these just taste, well they do taste fantastic. Now, then when they're done, after everything has hardened and all your chocolate, then I cut them on the diagonal, just like a biscotti um, and you know, this is how they turn out. They're uh, rather uh, a, a moist cookie um, on the inside. In fact, I'm gonna show you some pieces. Whoops. Everything's happening for this video today that, that shouldn't be happening. Uh, but anyway, when you break open into it, they're just so moist and so delicate. And then, I don't know if you can see, but you'll see that nice thick of the chocolate and the white chocolate all around it uh, that I put over it. They just make a really great tasting cookie as well as a real pretty uh, cookie to uh, serve uh, as well. So, wanna thank you for watching Diane Love to Bake. Um, I really appreciate you watching. If you try this recipe and you like it, I'd appreciate a like. And if you have tried the recipe, well, leave a comment because I always like to hear from you. So as always, thank you for watching Diane Love to Bake. Oh, and if you choose to, which would be great, is to choose subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you soon. Thank you.